All right, guys. So um, right now I'm going to show you how to change the eye color of just like an eye. So I just got this picture off of Google. Um, whatever. So now this is using Photoshop. So go ahead and do on the first row, second one down. Click and hold on that, and then move your mouse over to the magnetic lasso tool, and then let go. And you're going to start over here on the edge of your eyeball. You might have to zoom in using the zoom tool in the second row, bottom right. But I just got a close-up picture of an eye, so I didn't have to do that. I'm just going really quick, because it's just a video. But if you're doing it for something bigger or whatever, then you might want to take more time on that. Or um, whatever. So now it's selected. You go up to Image, Adjustments. And then hue and saturation. Um, I can't really ever get this to what color I want. I can say, oh, I want orange. You can't just plug that in. You have to drag this hue thing back and forth until you find something like an orange. Um, so there, there is an orange. Or you can go like a red over here and like change the saturation or whatever. There's a gray eye, and you know you can try to make it orange from there, or whatever. That's almost impossible. So if I just let me set these back to normal, about normal. That's good enough. And I can choose any color I wanted. Um, like here's an unrealistic green. Yeah. No, I can't. I don't have. I don't really know anyone with green eyes, so like, I don't know what it looks like. But I guess it's pretty good. But it still did change the eye color, and you can do this with like hair or whatever. But um, hair is a lot harder to select with to get all those little running dots around it. But um, I guess yeah, I got a little bit out of the eyeball or a little colored part. Um, but yeah, so change it without messing up like the texture and all these little lines and stuff. If you want to be more careful, you can also, uh, another way to do set going like this, whatever. Um, yeah, by the way, when you go all the way around, it, when you come back, you'll have a little circle right there. And right there, you can see on the little tool has a circle, then you can click, and it'll make those little dots. But you can click on the paintbrush right here, the brush tool, whatever, and then go down here and click the one on the right. And then click up here and click your brush size, you know, whatever, make it as big as you want. Color this in, it'll cut like a light purple, whatever, and then go back and click over here. So make it go back, then click Control Shift I. That's on a Windows, I don't know about a Mac. And then you can just change it um, from there. That's better if you do it with hair. I color the hair or whatever, and look. Let me just change that. But I just take it the first way if you want to do eyes, but do whatever you want. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe.